how's it guys welcome to my channel um so today i thought of doing a little bit of a video of my perfume samples for you um the reason why i chose to do that is just to give you a bit of tips also um when i decided to restart my collection about two to three months ago i was kind of lost i didn't know where to start so i thought okay i will probably have to get some samples first before i commit to buying bigger bottles um so i knew that fushini was um selling some um what do you call those scent boxes or fragrance boxes um that you can purchase they range between 1200 and 1700 rand and they usually have approximately 12 to 15 samples inside that you can sample it also includes a voucher so if you then decide upon which one you like the most then you go and you exchange your voucher for a 50 ml bottle of the perfume that you want out of the samples that you bought which is actually a great great um way to start your collection okay but without further ado let's get started and go through the samples i'm not going to go through the notes i will probably just tell you what i have um if i like it or not and if i will buy myself a bottle of it i've decided that i'm gonna i'm rather gonna buy 30 more bottles in future because i i don't just want to buy like five or six perfumes i want to build a big collection so it means then that i will um will probably then have to buy smaller bottles so that i can go through them quicker as opposed to buying bigger bottles and ending up not using the perfume um for a long time um so yeah that is what i decided i'm gonna do in future so um but let's get started okay guys so the first one i have here is um boss by yugo boss the scent eau de parfum this is a nice fragrance. I like this. Um, it's a fresh fragrance. I think you can wear it mostly in spring, summer, maybe even fall. Um, it's a nice out of the shower fragrance. Um, will I add it to my collection? Um, I don't know yet. I'm on the fence with this one. Um, so let's put that one back. Um, second one. This is my Burberry guys this one wasn't in the scent box this one I got from my perfume sh my perfume shop <laughs> um, they are an online store in South Africa so you can also check them out and just a disclaimer guys um, nobody sponsored me to do this video no shop no company no nothing I'm doing this um, from uh, the goodness of my heart because I wanted to give you tips on how to start your collection um, so they sell samples as well, so you can check them out. Um, and this is my Burberry um, Eau de Parfum. I love this. I think this is a gorgeous fragrance. And I am definitely going to add this to my collection. It's like, it, it reminds me of a girl with a flowery dress, some nice um, kitten heels, and a nice cute little bag in spring or summertime. So I'm definitely going to get that one. Um, then we have, um, this is Bulgari, um, Goldia, the Roman Knight. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, guys, I love this. I love this fragrance. I'm definitely going to get myself a bottle of this. Um, I love the bottles as well. It's very classy. Um. Uh, bottles um, and I'm thinking of getting the the rose one as well next one um, this is um, uh, VIP 2 and 2 rose by Carolina Herrera guys I don't know if it's 212 or 212 or 212 um, I'm sorry about that I'm unsure <laughs> I'm new in the game, but I love this. This is really nice. I love this fragrance. It's a nice everyday fragrance, and I will 
definitely get myself a bottle of this one next one this is um, a sample I got from a friend um, this is apogee or apogee I'm not sure guys I'm not French hey and I'm also not English so guys um, another disclaimer please be advised that um, languages other than my mother language will be damaged in the in my videos um, I'm so sorry about that but that is just how it is <laughs> So this is um, Louis Vuitton Apogee. I got this from a friend. I love this fragrance. Would I buy it for myself? Probably not. Um, but it is a nice one to keep in mind. Maybe for future. Then there's another one by Louis Vuitton. Um, I also got this one from my friend. Um, the same friend. <laughs> this is Turbulences. Um, I like this one better than, than the Ap Apogee or Apogee. Okay, um, the next one, this is, um, uh, let me do this, maybe you can see it better, this is um, Gucci Bamboo Le Parfum, love this, um, absolutely in love with this, um, fresh, nice fragrance, um, People say it smells very generic. I don't care. I love it. I love the bottle as well. I love the, the lid of the bottle. It looks like an actual bamboo. Um, so I'm definitely going to get myself one of these. A bottle of that. Um, next one. This is... Um, guys, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name. I'm not. This is a perfume by Terry Mugler. Um, I don't like this. Uh, I got this also off um, my perfume shop, and I was I wasn't surprised because I know he makes very very interesting and strange fragrances, and I wanted to try this one out. Um, but this one was a fail for me. I love his other stuff, um, so I'm probably not going to get me a bottle of this. Um, next one. by um, Giorgio Armani, they say. Um, Eau de Parfum. Uh, guys, I know everybody loves this perfume. Um, it's nice. I haven't smelled the other versions, or the flankers as they call it. Um, I like it, um, but I'm not going to buy it. Um, it opens with a very strong, uh, like a champagne note um i'm not crazy about it so i'll probably try the others um but this one i'm not gonna i'm not gonna buy a bottle of um up next uh chanel gabriel uh de parfum guys um chanel does make um very sophisticated fragrances um this one for me is a little bit more hip a little bit not hip but a little bit more um up to date um if you know what i mean um i'll i love this i'm probably gonna buy this one um the others i've smelled all of them but i'll probably buy them when i let i uh, get a little bit older um but yeah this is a nice classy sophisticated fragrance but with a modern twist. I like it. Next one. Um, this is Elisab La Parfum. Guys, this was my signature scent for years and years. The first time I smelled this, I fell in love with it. It's probably always going to be in my collection. I don't have a bottle of it now. I finished the last one. So I will probably have to get a bottle as soon as possible. This will always be in my collection. Next one. This is... Ooh. Um, this is my current favorite. Marc Jacobs Decadence. The original one. Guys, I love this. I really, really love this fragrance. I think it's absolutely divine. It's, it's probably best to wear it in fall and winter. 
but this plum in it oh i'm telling you i love it i love it i love it i love it um i've bought the eau de toilette the also decadent in my previous video i unboxed that one so you can check that video out as well um yeah so i'm going to get this um probably my next buy i'm gonna buy this one and i also want the divine decadence as well i want the whole range next one um this is um sorry this is um lancome la vie est belle uh eau de parfum guys i don't know i can i understand why people love this um people go mad for this um but i don't know i'm not sold um i haven't tested the the other variations or the flankers um it's nice i understand why people like it but for me personally um i'm not gonna i'm probably not gonna buy this one um next one this is um black opium by yves saint laurent also the eau de parfum i like this guys this is a nice um perfume for fall and winter i love the coffee note in the perfume i love coffee um i wish it had chocolate in it as well <laughs> i don't know why i'll probably search for a perfume with chocolate in it will i buy this eventually um but not now um next one versace um eros parfum eau de parfum guys i don't know i don't like this uh and i am so 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 sad because i love versace um crystal noir i love that one that is currently my signature scent um i love the bottle of this specific perfume but i'm not sold on this perfume i don't know i don't like it and i'm probably not going to get one okay sorry about that um, next one this is jean paul coltier classique essence de parfum guys i love this i think it's gorgeous i love the jean paul coltier bottles and i am definitely going to get myself a bottle of the classic essence de parfum i love it i haven't smelled the others and i'm sure i'll love the others as well next one um fleur mask narciso rodriguez for her um eau de parfum guys i i'm not a mask girl especially when it's the main note or the main um focus um musk uh, toned down in a fragrance yes um but i don't know i'm i don't like this um i don't i haven't smelled the other uh fragrances i know they are the bosses of musks but i really don't like this one unfortunately um next one dahlia div Divine or Divine Divine by Givenchy. It's also eau de parfum. Um, I like this. Um, will I buy it? Probably eventually. Probably not now. Not in the near um few months. Um, but it's nice though. I think I'll try other fragrances by Givenchy. Maybe I'll find something that I will instantly fall in love with. Next fragrance. Um, this is Yves Saint Laurent Libre or Libre Libre. I think it's Libre. Um, love, love, love this. Got the sample in a magazine. I think it was the Cosmopolitan. Yeah, it was the Cosmopolitan. I love this. I finished this, and I'm going to get the bottle. And the bottle is to die for, guys. This is such a beautiful, classy sophisticated enchanting um woman boss bottle um it is 
modern um i love it um if i didn't like the fragrance i would have bought it still just because of the bottle next one um this is alien by terry mugler guys i love this i love alien um angel not really an angel fan but i don't hate it alien i love alien flankers i haven't smelled i love deep dark jasmine perfumes i am an oriental floral girl i'm an oriental perfume girl so this is up my alley and i am definitely going to get myself a bottle of this um then we have a dolce and cabana light blue intense for her also the Oude Parfum. Um, guys, this is nice. This is a nice summer fragrance. It's citrus. It's fresh. Um, would I buy it? No, I don't think so. I think there can or might be other fragrances that I would like more in the summer. I don't know. I will probably eat my words <laughs> if I don't find anything. But... Um, will i buy this um no i don't think i'll buy this in the near future it's winter now in any case um so i have still a lot of months to decide whether i would want this or not last one guys is the infamous the infamous um Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Um, Eau de Parfum. Guys, I already have a bottle of this. I have the 90 ml bottle. The 90 or the 100, I know, 100 ml, I'm not sure. Um, because I love this fragrance. It's a boss fragrance. It's a woman that knows what she wants. She has goals, ambition. I love this. And like I said, I already have it in my collection. And that is the last sample i have um so guys yes that was my um sample video video for you guys this container you can see i'm 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 keeping my my samples in in this glass container but it's so plain i'm thinking of maybe trying to to shush it up a bit um Tell me if you'd like to see me do a DIY decorating this specific um, glass so that it looks a little bit more stylish and elegant. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like this video and also um, subscribe to my channel. Because I have a lot of content coming and I, I'm sure you will like it. If you like perfumes, if you like handbags, if you like shoes, if you like beauty, if you like all that kind of nice glamorous stuff. Um, please subscribe, um, click the notification bell so that you are um, alerted when I post new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and, and we'll talk again soon. Bye guys!